What's good, y'all? It's your man, Reese. Welcome to Drip Talk, the place where we talk about everything fit. Today, we're going to be looking at a video with a brother going in, going all in on the black community, letting us know what's really holding us back, all right? Before we get into this, be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification to help your man grow this channel. And without further ado, my good people, let's get into it. We don't fucking want to help each other. Mm. Let's talk about it. We hate on each other. Mm. We don't actually lift each other up. We talk all of this. It don't matter what the white person thinks. But when it really comes down to it, we don't help each other. So much so that black people don't even like to ask for help. We think that that's a sign of weakness. Like you can't let your pride allow you to actually need help, want help. I'll do it on my own. I don't need a handout. I don't need nothing. That's the mentality we walk around with. And that's the shit that's holding us back. And a lot of the times, it'd be a lot of black people, and I'm going to get killed for saying this, but it's fucking true, that blame white people, and it's not on them, it's on us. And we don't want to eat that shit. And that's what I'm f***ing tired of. Why don't we do that? Why don't we help each other the same way they do and stop f***ing blaming them for some of the f we find ourselves in in moments when we have to take accountability? You're right. So what are we going to do about it? Stop f***ing hating on each other. That's where it starts. We can't slap each other at the other guy's event. We can't do that kind of s***, yo. We got to stop complaining about what we're not getting when we're not even appreciating what we have. And I know they're going to come at me for that, but we talking today. That's where I'm at. Yeah, their opinion shouldn't matter. But that's not even the fight. We got to get to the point where their opinion is irrelevant. Right now, it's not irrelevant. It matters. And that's going to be the case until we realize that the only way that we can get beyond this point of where their opinion is relevant is to actually genuinely be for one another. Period. Woo! Had to hit that that little the little Ric Flair. Woo! Had to hit it because my man was out, out there dropping gems. He was dropping gems, man. I'm glad they they was bleeping out the uh the cuss words because he was using a lot, but still he was talking good. The brother was talking. You know, where do I even start? Because I know in this, like the black community is considered like probably the, the you know, the lowest community, like economically and all this stuff like that. You know, but at the end of the day, what we fail to realize is how we could help each other get up there is by supporting one another. And I, I do believe there's not enough support within the black community. Like black people don't support each other. Like I know a lot of people, including myself, started starting the business. When I started my clothing brand, Nation of Dripping, for example, and there's a lot of other people that go through this too. You know, you'll have all your, your friends, black friends talking about, oh yeah, we going we got you, we gonna support you and this and that. They never support you. You know, they don't they don't support. They they talk all this talk about supporting you and this and that, but they never end up supporting you. So and we wonder why we at the bottom because our people need to support our businesses. And that's not even happening like that. So how we expect to get to the level of a white person's business making all this money when we don't even support each other's businesses like it's ridiculous and especially me being a black man it's just like you know it's already hard enough as it is because people just try to put these stereotypes on black people men and women that's sometimes true sometimes not true but it's just like, you know, we got to be for each other. Like the man said in the video, like for us to get anywhere, we got to be for each other. We got to be supporting each other, showing each other love, being there when each other going through hard times. Because at the end of the day, we all we got. We all we got. We think it's going to be 
the grass is gonna be greener on the other side if we 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 try to deal with other people and and try to leave our community behind no we got to work together that's the only way we gonna be successful we got to work together y'all we can't just be sitting here blaming this person blaming the white man for doing all these keeping us back that's a lot that's like the main excuse i hear from a lot of black folks the white man keeping us back this and that and we you know we gonna all this and i can't go here because this white person did this and like you 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 by just you complaining and saying they keeping me back you're relinquishing your power instead of taking your power and doing controlling the narrative of your life you blaming the white man when you could control your narrative become the person that you want to be in life the person that god has designed you to be in life you blaming people that's not how it works. A lot of us need to, I'm a, uh, and don't kill me for saying this. <laughs> I'm taking notes from the brother, <laughs> but a lot of us need to get out of this. A lot of us black folks, we need to get out this victimhood mentality. Because as Hafiz from The Roommate said, you can never be the victor when you always trying to be a victim you can't be victorious if you're always trying to play victim if you're always blaming this person and that person for where you at in life you never gonna get anywhere that's just what it is we gotta stop sitting here and and, and thinking yeah i get it a lot of bad things happen to us people as black people i get that and i'm not trying to dispute that i'm not trying to say anything so don't come at me but i'm just saying like there's certain things that we can't we can control like our image we could control our image things like that we could support each other's businesses little things that we could do to help our community elevate you know what i'm saying it's not just oh it, we gotta depend on the white man to get out, get us out this ditch. Nah, that's just not how it is. No, we gotta put in the work. We gotta do the little things. And we gotta, like he said, we gotta appreciate what we have. And what we have is each other. Whether we wanna see that or not. All we have is each other. Because each be, leaning on each other is what's gonna bring us out supporting each other's businesses doing all this stuff teaching our young people how to be productive and be of class that's what's gonna help us get out not not trying to to uh expose the, the children to these certain lifestyles Let, try to try to teach our kids about character and integrity little things like this is gonna help us get from the bottom that's just what it is you know what I'm saying so yeah you, you know what I'm saying like this this had to, I had to do a video on this because it really spoke volumes on like where we at as a community and what we have to do to actually get out of the dump we in you know what i'm saying like it speaks volumes it really does but the main point is it's on us all right it's on us it's not on the white man it ain't on joe biden and all these people in politics it's on us at the end of the day we gotta get ourselves out this situation we got to take ourselves seriously. We got to have enough self-respect for ourselves to understand that, oh, if we just come together, we could work our way up and get what we deserve. Because we all deserve to be to get treated like equal people. We all deserve to be getting get treated like respect. You know, our people have been getting abuse for years decades still to this day so that that gives more of a reason for us to stick together more more now than ever 
All right. Good people. That was the video for today. Let me know what you guys think about what the brother said. I think he was speaking gems, spitting gems, speaking gems, all that good stuff. Um, be sure to share this video um, to anybody you know that needs to hear this message. All right. Be sure to share it to them. All right. This is out of love. This ain't out of animosity or nothing like that. So if y'all think that this brother was coming from that place, think again. Because sometimes we need, that, we need that tough love. All right. So be sure to share this. Be sure to leave a comment down below too on what y'all think and all that good stuff. All right. Be sure to follow my social media. Drip Talk Instagram. Drip Talk TikTok. All right. Be sure to follow my personal social media, all right? Follow my clothing brand information, all right? For Nation of Dripping. About to get some stuff soon in there. I'm working on something that's going to come out in the fall. Follow all the social media for the Nation of Dripping clothing brand, all right? And by email, driptalk22 at gmail.com. Hit me up if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything fashion related or any interesting topics like the one i just showed you guys today all right be sure to email me at that email all right my good people until next time y'all be easy y'all be breezy your man signing out yes sir